Hey everybody, Kusmos here with episode 42 of Last Dream. We are midway through our invasion of the Pandoran... Um... Uh, fort? Castle? Main city? Something of the sort. We managed to jailbreak. And we've now dressed as General Octavius. And... Well, at the current moment, apparently we're in the library. I don't think there's anything useful here. I'm not going through all of these books. As interesting it is, as it is that they have the large assortment of titles, they're mostly real-world titles, and don't really inter uh, inter uh, reveal anything interesting about the world. Ooh, Rosetta Stone. What does that do? Uh, the item, is that a special? What is that? Allows translation of the Lemurian language. That could be interesting. I imagine I would need to get it eventually anyways. Medium Cottage. And 3,000 gold. Alright, so... Let us head back up. Um, now the stairs. Well, let's save real quick so I don't have to go back down and do that. Should I die? Which, while I have no plans to, well, plans on what actually happened. Uh oh, Dark Lord, the conquest is progressing as planned. Oakwood has fallen, and Riverdale will give little resistance. Large armies are amassing around Doria, but with our secret weapon, we shall decimate them. Well done, General Hannibal. Command of the southern armies will be transferred to Octavius while you tend to more important matters. Yes, my lord. My scouts have shown me the steady progress of my opposite. He has overcome every obstacle that I placed in his way, from the kidnapping of Dante's daughter to the explosive device placed inside Mount Gera. However, he is still too weak to enter this well of souls. What would you have of me, my lord? We will leak information that we plan a sneak attack on Midgard. After seeing how my opposite has responded thus far, we can be fairly certain that he will appear there and attempt to stop the assault. At that point, you will release the Kraken. The Kraken? Are you sure that is wise, my lord? If it were to escape, it would ravage coastal cities around the world, and we would have no control. It was a massive endeavor to capture it in the first place. Do not question my orders. You are replaceable, General Hannibal. But f forgive me, my lord. It will not happen again. Initiate these plans immediately. Leave me. I yes, my lord. So, can we pass ourselves off as Octavius to him? And when ah, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna sneak down real quick, so I don't have to go through that again. Once again, should I die? I have no idea how this battle is going to go. And as much as I enjoy the conversation, I don't want to do this again. Alright, here we go. Hmm, I figured you would have escaped the castle already. But instead, you choose to come here. Do you seriously believe you can challenge me? I have seen more time elapse than the Great Bahamut or the last elf, Helios. I was disappointed that I had to rescue you from Helios. I was hoping that you were stronger than that. However, I could not have him ruin my plans by killing you. You take the ultimate crystal shards and Kelly's medallion out. You've brought the ultimate crystals. An interesting turn of events. But they are but rocks to me. The ultimate crystal shards turn to dust and run through your fingers and only Kelly's medallion remains. Is it painful to know that you've wasted so much time, blood, and treasure on a worthless task? A little bit, yeah. I learned the secret of the ultimate crystal molecular distortion field many lifetimes ago. 
With that secret also came the knowledge to its destruction. Come, let us test your strength. Hubley. Dark Lord emerged. Okay, so let us get a healing trance and a healing trance. Um, do I have any chance to... Let's debuff him all I can and buff myself up as much as I can. Alright, that first attack missed. That is very good. The problem, of course, is I imagine he'll use a lot of magic. And I don't have much that can debuff magic. Or buff against magic. But we'll take what we can get. Alright, what else do we have? Defensive stance, no healing trance, we've done that. Uh, we'll save it to last. Genius is nice. Weaken. That'll be nice. Alright, so we will... Genius first. Scan, let us... Plus... Okay, let's Metascan. Okay, I don't think I can silence. So let's go ahead and get stealing. No, wait. We should mug him. Didn't study, debate, smoke bombs. 20. Pre. Alright, ow. Full potion. I have a feeling Sid and Jareth are mostly going to occupy their time healing. It would be nice if they could auto-heal themselves also. Genius. Uh, ba ba ba. We'll cry. Let's go ahead and drop a weekend. Has she slowed him yet? Hamstring. Keep on mugging. And let's see, he's down by approximately 200. Oh, nope. Well, that was worthless. And... Warcry. Slow. High potion himself. Hopefully he'll live. Double breath is going to be nasty when it hits, I bet. Unfortunately, I really, I really wish Sid... I thought Sid would get a chance to do anything. Alright, I've got to attack. She's done all of her things. Uh, steel healing. Let us get a magical imbue out. Uh -huh. Don't know what that did. Okay, let us... I don't know how this is going to go. No, I want skill and life. I think he goes last. And... We'll give a medium magic potion to him. That's done a bit. Alright, so a good chance Jareth is going to be just killed right... Killed again. Uh, he has so much different magic, I'm not really sure. Oh! Yikes. Um... Let's try to get that in again. Uh, he doesn't have... Nope, 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 frick. Well... 
I suppose he didn't kill people at least. And my defenses probably ran out, so. Arch Galorb. I really wish I knew if this was a battle that I can win. Couldn't be a battle I can win, right? That would almost... Hmm. I don't know. Let's keep mugging and probably heal himself. Okay, so he's going to be immune to magic for five rounds. Well, it'll show me what he's immune to, right? Can I get no all? That would be a wonderful spell to learn. That shouldn't affect most of what I have. Alright, so... Keep on berserking. You know what? I'm going to have her... Let's see. He's down by a little over 200. So Siraliel will hit him with that. He'll keep mugging. And I would like to hit him with Magical Imbue. Darkness, Silence, Confusion. Ouch. Give your miss. And he still has stuff to steal. Just couldn't get it. Okay. So... Let's see, I want to unconfuse first. And unconfuse Sid. If that doesn't do it. Alright. Well, I should have unparalyzed him first. Okay, so he's paralyzed. That takes Muscle Relaxer. And Sid is blind. So I drops up here. And Magical on view. Ooh, boy. Alright, good. He can still hit. Not much he can do. Not much he can do. We'll keep hitting, hitting with what I got, though. As long as he doesn't... Actually, it's not much he can do as far as silencing goes, right? Should I heal up? I feel that I should. Well, Sid is asleep. She did not notice that. Let's bring Jareth up. Ouch. Koos will fast cure himself. Jareth will... hit himself with a huge potion. No. And Sid will hit himself with a large potion. Nobody healing other people because, well, too much chance the person they're healing will get killed. Yep, there goes Sid and Jareth. I think I'm going to let this fight end. Well, okay, there was no letting it. I could have fast but that's about it. Pathetic. I had wished for much more. You are trying my patience. Now be gone. Hmm. Well. What happened? You appeared as if it were from nowhere. You say you fought the Dark Lord, but he destroyed the Ultimate Crystals? This is most distressing. The Kraken. I heard stories when I was a young man, but those have faded to myth. I do not truly believe in its existence. We must prepare our defenses immediately. That is not the right voice for him. It appears that I can't wait any longer to divulge what I know of the Dark Lord and his plans. 
Return to me after defeating the Kraken, and I will tell you what I know. Really? You couldn't tell me now? I, I've never seen the king so agitated. What happened in Pandora? You don't think me just suddenly appearing? Is a clue that bad things happen? Okay, was there an inn in here? You should donate the airship to Midgard. We could turn it into a magnificent again. What? Excuse me. Magnificent weapon against those damp Endorans. As much as I read for my own pleasure, and I've been reading this all the time, I get so tongue twisted when reading this much, especially. I don't know, some of the language in this feels a little unnatural, which leads me to get even more tongue twisted. Kind of trip over. Twit, trip. Wow. It just gets me to trip over all the words the more I read. Awkward language, I suppose. Anyways. Back to the adventure. Ha. Huh. It took some doing, but as I told you last, Gilrain has agreed to be my wife. It was a long and arduous courtship. But true love wins out in the end, my friend. Take care, Outlander. I hope we meet again. Have I talked to him before? I really don't remember. Let's save once again. Uh, how is my... Oh, good. The Dark Lord was kind enough to heal me. That's very convenient. Hmm, there's not much to see here. Titanium equipment is a bit beneath me after my visit to Gaia. Yeah, where's, wait, where's Gaia that has... I presume... Unit keeper? Yeah. But why did I say? Uh, why did I do that? I literally just saw that I was already healed. Well, which way do I go? Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Kraken. That is a very large Kraken. Oh. After last time I finish in the middle, I didn't turn back off save anywhere, but I'm still going to follow the rules of only save on the world map using a tent or save locations. We'll quit that. The Kraken dwarfs Midgard Fortress. Remove the Gorgon's head from its bag and face it at the Kraken. The Kraken's movements begin to slow and its color fades to gray. Large cracks appear and it begins to crumble into, in large pieces into the sea. When did I get Scorgon's head? I don't recall. Oh well. That was easier than expected. But every time I go all the way across, and I just point it with my finger, and... Of course, you can't see me. Anyways, let's talk to Dante. Let me tell you what I know about the Dark Lord. Watch cutscene. As Dante begins to speak, you are struck by a vision of the past. Better be about what he's talking about. 894 FE. One year before present day, in the throne room of Pandora Castle. I have important news from our spy network, Your Majesty. Wait, wrong voice. Please continue, General Thanatos. Yes, Your Majesty. The kingdom of Asgard has been planting sleeper agents inside the city, as, and has been attempting to assassinate many of our highest-ranking military officers. This is very troubling. Why are they so bent upon our destruction? Indeed it is, Your Majesty. I can only assume that the king of Asgard is an envious man, who wishes to resurrect the once grand Alexandrian Empire by annexing Pandora. Gotta wonder why they trust a general who walks around in a, you know, dark robe and just kind of, like, generally comes off as very evil. You'd think they would notice. Anyways. That could be, but I've never thrown King Dimas to, I've never known King Dimas to be such an irrational man. He has always kept peace between our two powerful nations. 
Have any of these sleeper agents been successful in perpetrating their assassinations? No, Your Majesty. The extra funding that you provided to the spy network has truly paid off. We have filled the casual dungeon with these spies, and they will soon be executed. Very good, General. That will be all. You are dismissed. Yes, Your Majesty. This world gets uglier every day. Days later in Gabriel's study, the king's respect for Dimas is making this propaganda plot take much longer than I had. Dante, Hannibal, I had nearly forgotten about our weekly meeting. What news do you have? All, this, all of these suspected Asgardian spies have been executed. Otherwise, there is little military news. Dante? As you commanded, several highly trained operatives have infiltrated Asgard and are sending me weekly missives. Asgard is tense and under the impression that the two nations will soon go to war. Excellent. My right and left hands. I could not function without you two trusted advisors. You are dismissed. So, presumably, they either know or knew what was going on. Or later discovered. Several months later, it has been a long, very long time since I have trusted anyone as much as you, Dante. Hannibal is loyal to a fault, but I don't think he would understand my secrets. Thank you, thank you, Gabriel. It has been an honor to learn under your tutelage. I too was an orphan like you, Dante. I see many of my strengths inside of you. I never would have guessed. Where were you raised? Until I was eight years old, I lived in a small village called Snow Hill. Snow Hill must be very small. I've never even heard of it. The last man I truly trusted, Philip Manus, helped me cope in a new city after my stepfather passed away in Snow Hill. That was eight hundred years ago. I, I think you've had too much to drink, my friend. Eight hundred years. Don't be ridiculous. Ha, it does sound fairly far-fetched, does it not? But it is true. I am the last of the elven blood, a half-breed born to a human mother. W why are you telling me all this? And what makes you think I'll believe you? Gabriel lowers his hood to reveal his elven ears. My god, I had always wondered why you wore that gothic garb. I presumed you were disfigured. No, not disfigured. And I tell you this because I fear that I am losing my humanity. It is in rare inst instances in your company that I can remember my friend Philip. I have committed atrocities beyond redemption of late in my quest for immortality. Have you ever heard of the Well of Souls? I've only heard Hannibal saying that you have several times journeyed there, but I have no idea where or what it is. Over the centuries, I have researched extensively on the topic of life and death and have found the words of Amadeus, an ancient veneer, to be the most detailed on the subject. The will of souls is the temporary container for the souls of Terrans that die. Unbeknownst to all Terrans, there exists another parallel world with which I believe these souls are shared. As it slowed down, parallel world? I, I think you're moving a bit fast. How do you know such a place exists? I've traveled there several times over the last few decades. It is known as Earth, but that isn't important. The point is that the portal to Earth only opens when someone on Terra dies. How do you know when the portal will be open? I've murdered hundreds of innocent or not-so-innocent souls in order to open the portal. Y you've what? Are you telling me this? As I've said, I only have rare instances of lucidity left these days, and generally, only in your presence. I need you to stop me. Uh, how could I stop you? Gabriel loses his lucidity and returns to his sociopath persona. Dante, sorry, what were we discussing? Dante sees the glazed look in Gabriel's eyes and realizes that he doesn't remember anything. The next stage of Asgardian propaganda. Ah, excellent. Yes, 
there is much to discuss. Days later in Gabriel's study. Why do I bother with other books? Nothing ever has the same detail as The Living Soul. I suppose it is time to give it another read. It's possible there is something I have missed. There you are, my old friend. One of, I suppose, my quibbles with just a bit of the uh, both design on the flashback sequences, little things like that. There's really no good reason he couldn't have a bookshelf in his office or the book already on his table. Taking the time to wonder that far off just seems a bit excessive. There's a reason most cutscenes of this general style and the old school RPGs don't usually have much pre-scripted movement because it's kind of boring. It's just, you know, a sprite sliding across the screen, a little hint of its legs moving or whatever, depending on exactly what the sprite looks like. Kind of typically want to avoid that. Anyways, Gabriel peruses the book for several minutes. This line has always bothered me. Take heart, for from hope-filled gods gone before, they were sprung into worlds of simultaneous time, one in likeness to the other. But lo, never the twain shall meet, save for the passing, in equal measure, opposite in, de in destiny, and thy eternal essence, of thy eternal destiny. Essence. Phew. After my last visit to Earth, could this mean that for each soul in terror, there is an opposite essence on Earth? Ah, it seems so obvious. I must trap my opposite's essence in the world's souls. This weak form of immortality that I gain by traveling back in time via the portal can't last forever. But if I trap my opposite in the world's souls, then my soul can never recombine with his. I have to leave immediately for the Magi Towers. A few weeks later in Riverdale. My old friend, please come inside. What brings you to Riverdale? I fear if I, I have chosen the wrong path. The Pandoran general that commands the Spike Network has divulged some very troubling secrets to me. I've never known you to be the type to frighten easily. What the hell did he tell you? Let me get a side note that I am his opposite number. Hmm. It's nearly beyond belief. The man claims to be the last of the elves, a half-breed born long ago to a human mother. And you believe him? He showed me proof that I could not refute. He also claimed to have traveled to a parallel world by sacrificing people to open a portal between the two worlds. In one world of lucidity, he asked me to stop him. Well, that's quite a story. What would you have of me? I need your help. I've talked to Hannibal and he has divulged the secret location of the world's souls. He is nearly as mad as General Thanatos. I, I was hoping you could gather your Spartans and join me at the world's souls. Together, we could stop General Thanatos. Unfortunately, the Spartans are scattered across the continent on several missions. It will take at least a week to gather them. I'll send out messengers immediately. I hope your story turns out to be the fairy tale it sounds like. But I will heed your words and meet you as soon as possible at the Well of Souls. Thank you, Atticus. I will see you again soon. Several days later, Gabriel sits out after Gabriel sits out for the Magi Towers. You have completed the trial. Please take the alabaster rod. You must now leave this tower. How does this place disrupt my teleportation? When the gods built this place, they implemented a distortion field to force those who wished into the world's souls to pass both the Alabaster and Onyx trials. The gods? You mean the Veneer? No. The gods created the Veneer and the Magi long ago. I wonder why the Veneer never discussed the gods. 
Several days after Dante's... Excuse me again. Several days after Dante asks for Atticus's help. Yes, climbing sequence. Hmm. Could probably go. How did Gabriel do this? My heart is about to explode. I'm, I must keep going. Yeah, I'm assuming the main character, the one I'm named Kusmos, is the opposite number who the general wants to trap in the world of souls. And that means to defeat him, I have to die? I think. Or I could trap him in the world of souls. And I will be immortal? That's not half bad, right? Anyways. Simultaneous with Gabriel receiving the alabaster rod. Our journey is right on time. We should arrive in the small hamlet of Strano in just a few days' time. The generals of vengeance against these Asgardian spies will be exacted. A week after Dante asks for Atticus's help. Glenn! We er, Glenn, we finally found you. Where's Thomas? He's out sailing. He should be back in a few days. Damn, we're already late. We're already late. I hope we're not too late to help. A few days after Ga Gabriel gains the alabaster rod. Well done. You have completed the trial. Please accept the onyx talisman. Thank you. Several hours before Gabriel receives the two, several hours before Gabriel receives the two pieces of the staff of sorrow and folly, the alabaster rod and the onyx talisman. It's enormous and amazingly beautiful. I hope Gabriel hasn't already left through the portal. All I can do is find a hiding spot and wait. He could have found a much closer hiding spot. So hours after Dante arrived at the Well of Souls. I should have several hours to find my opposite on Earth and drag him back to Terra. This what, just a year prior to current events? These are the last few steps on the path to true immortality. It doesn't appear that Hannibal has arrived at the village yet. Excellent. Hannibal has started the executions. The portal. I scarcely believed it existed until now. Oh, so much time wasted walking. I wish Atticus had shown up. I guess I'll have to take care of this myself. What exactly is his plan? Is he going into the portal also? Here goes nothing. That would be a yes. Okay. Are you all right? I started speaking and you suddenly went into a trance. There wasn't anything I could do to break you out of it. A vision of my past? So you know my shame. You have to stop him. I could not. You are the only one who can defeat the Dark Lord. I've been to the Well of Souls, but Gabriel sometimes spoke of entering the well, and that it was certain death without a protective staff. He often spoke of the Magi. I knew neither where they live nor who they are but I believe they may be the key to acquiring this protective staff. Lastly, do you remember the traveler's file I gave you after you rescued my daughter? I know that your only wish is to, turn, is to return home, and the solution lies in that vial. The traveler's vial is symbolic, just as you drown to arrive on Terra. I believe you could likewise escape your challenges here by drowning. Unfortunately, I cannot offer certainty regarding where you might end up although we can be sure that you would not face the Dark Lord in the Well of Souls. 
I apologize for being coy earlier. I wanted you to stay and help us, yet I now realize just how unfair I was. You must choose. You must either confront the Dark Lord or commit suicide. Okay. I will not judge you either way, and there is no third way. The Dark Lord will pursue and torment you so long as you remain on Terra. I wish I could be of more help. Good luck. I'm really curious curious what will happen if I use that traveler's file. Um Perhaps we can experiment with that next episode though. But for now, that will be everything for this week. So until next week guys. Catch you later. <laughs>